Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be my month of Sivan special and uh, before we go into this I thought it was it was maybe a good idea to just do a, like a real get ready with me because usually when I do get ready with me I'm already like styled and have my jewelry on and have my wrap in place and everything and I thought wouldn't it be nice to just be real and to do a real get ready with me in a sense that I'm really not ready you know <laughs> so I'm I'm sitting here now the way I would be sitting here if I if I would be not on camera which is I'm just wearing an oversized t-shirt which is what I'm wearing during the night <laughs> and I just wanted to show you I know that yellow is not my color at all I know that but I have to show you this one because I I bought this because of what is written on it I just have to take my microphone off so you see what it is like this <laughs> masterpiece so um, this is an oversized extra 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 large man t-shirt and I cut out the um, the the what's it called the color color or whatever it's called um, I cut it open because I cannot have it so tight around my neck I hate that so let me just put my microphone back on and I just love the message even though I uh, maybe really yellow is not the best color for me when I'm not wearing makeup at least but I don't care during the night like who sees me right anyway well now apparently you do <laughs> Okay, so but with all that being said, I love the message, you know, that that confirmation, I'm a masterpiece no matter what, you know, God made me a masterpiece and I am his masterpiece. So I just love that message. So I thought I'm going to share that with you and maybe once in a while I'm just going to sit here and actually do a real get ready with me where you don't see me already with jewelry on and with, excuse me, with everything ready because that's real life and I I really enjoy that to not be perfect so I think that's really nice <laughs> anyway with all that being said I um, want to of course do a get ready with me what I just said and I have been knocking myself out doing very very fancy uh, eyeshadow looks during the whole week because I always had a photo shoot or somewhere to be where I needed to be super fancy so I want to today <laughs> be simple I'm craving simple I'm craving subdued and that's what I'm gonna do today which is so weird but <laughs> my eyes are craving rest and um, peace and nothing stark and harsh and just you know gentle so I'm gonna try I'm I don't know if I'm very good at being gentle but <laughs> I'm gonna try so for that I'm going to use um, this palette which is from Tarte it's the uh, love trust and fairy dust palette which came out uh, last summer and it looks like this so this is of course a color scheme that is <laughs> not necessarily my piece of cake like where I would be naturally drawn to um, this was gifted to me by my friend my best friend and she bought it to me uh, she bought it for me <laughs> she bought it for me because of the packaging because it sparkles and like I always say you know go ahead and sparkle so she saw that and she thought about me and she said you know what if you don't use it for yourself then use it for clients or for your studies or whatever you know so uh, and I'm, do I'm doing right that exactly that sorry for the English it's really <laughs> ridiculous anyway so what I'm trying to do today is probably I'm going to use this dark cold taupe shade and maybe um, this very very light pink shimmer and just combine that and maybe have um, this in the middle of this highlighter as an inner corner highlight and that's it and then I'm just gonna put on an eyeliner and mascara no lashes and and just be done for the day and I'm I think I'm gonna love this for today okay so uh, let's just zoom in and then we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, my thoughts about the month of Sivan Okay, we're all zoomed in. One thing that I should mention also is that I have my fan blowing behind the camera right at me because it is, I'm in a basement room here, there is no air conditioning and no 
air at all <laughs> like uh, this is what it's going to be during the summer months and I hope that uh, it does not interfere too much with the audio so you let me know and I'll only know during editing but uh, that's what it's going to have to be because otherwise I'm just going to melt <laughs> okay and then the other thing is uh, in Jerusalem where I live there is a new store that is called Kiko Milano Milano Kiko Milano and that is a makeup store and uh, I'm so glad that another makeup store opened because we are in such a, I don't know, I think we have been abandoned by the world <laughs> because we really just have MAC and we have Il Maquillage and both of them are so expensive here that it is almost impossible. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that I have uh, purchased two brushes from them that I'm going to try out because I am always, always on the hunt for brushes. And this is a uh, very domed fluffy blending brush the number 56 that I want to try out and then this is also a blending brush which is more like stiff and stiff yeah more stiff <laughs> stiffer <laughs> and that's number 58 and uh, I'm gonna let you know if I like them and also how they perform I'm very curious how they perform when I clean them because there are a lot of brushes that are cheaper that really shed and then you just use them a couple of times and then you have to you know, throw them out um, but price-wise it is such a difference you know for example I would have to make a calculation what that is in dollars but for example a brush like this from Kiko Milano costs 64 shekels which is maybe something like I don't know $18 $17 which for me is huge it's a huge amount of money for me um, and I think that, that's it's crazy to buy <laughs> to buy a brush for that much money but anyway um, but the same kind of brush from Mac would cost 190 shekels and that is well you calculate I, I just can't it's too early in the morning it is insane it's like I don't know $45 or something for one brush and that is crazy I don't know if you live in America please let me know what the prices are there for Mac because I think they're they're like I don't know ripping the flesh off our bones with their prices and I would love to buy from Mac I would also love to buy uh, my foundation from Mac and and everything because I do think the quality is there even though I not necessarily love their eyeshadows so much because of there's just so much other beautiful stuff out there that I don't need them but um, it, it makes me crazy these prices anyway with all that being said I'm glad that Kiko Milano opened and I'm you know, once in a while here and there, going to uh, buy something from them and see how that goes. So if you're local here with me <laughs> in my makeup hole, um, then uh, then I can let you know <laughs> how, it, how it goes. Anyway, so let's go in and I'm going to use that big fluffy brush and just see, you know what, no, I'm going to use the other one, this one. And I'm just going to use that uh, black uh, dark top shade and start to deepening up my... I don't know, my, my English is out of control. I'm going to start just putting on eyeshadow and trying to uh, make some sense here. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts about the month of Sivan. So the month of Sivan is of course the month of um, when Shavuot happens. And in a few days you're going to see also my Shavuot special that I have filmed already. Um, so it is the month of the people of Israel getting the Torah and the word of the word of God basically but um, while I was thinking about that uh, <laughs> I had actually a different thought and as you know I am not like I'm not a authority in in Bible or Torah or or any of this I'm just really going always always in everything according to what I'm feeling first I don't know if that is the smartest decision but I'm a woman and I deserve to do that like I'm not going to bend anymore because I just don't feel like it you know I think God has made me this way because that's how he wants me to be that he he wants me to feel his word and his commandments and to uh, to not think about everything and ruining it by doing that. Does it make any sense? I do feel that as, as soon as we men put our input into all of this and our explanations and our, what, I don't know, our commentaries and all of these things, 
that second that it is touched by men, it gets spoiled. Maybe not 100%, but it, it sort of goes into a, a direction that is... I don't know, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm a purist in a lot of ways, also when it comes to eating, always when it comes to to uh, other things. So this is what I'm feeling. I want to the purity because there is purity lacking in our world. Everything is sort of contaminated or or I don't know, I'm just really suffering by this. Just when I'm putting on the news and there is nothing good to talk about anymore. There are no good news out there and I hate that and I just can't bear it. So I want the purity of God's word and I don't want anyone to tell me anything about it because I want that um, God can speak through this to my heart. So um, that I'm, st I'm not working. <laughs> I am always just blabbering along. What can I do? Anyway, so this is going to be a very simple look anyway. It's not going to take a long time, so um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, I know that the women in my community who are extremely smart, um, and I mean it, I'm not like I'm not talking down at them at all, they get really frustrated because I kept, I keep getting invited, does one say that? I keep getting invited, yeah, to uh, lectures and things for women, and I always... I always say that I can't come because usually I don't have a babysitter or whatever but on the other hand it is also that I don't enjoy this I don't, you know I admire women who go and and educate themselves about about Bible and about um, you know commandments and this and that and the other thing I admire that it's just for me I don't need it <laughs> Maybe I have to get a little bit older to need it, but um, right now I'm not going to switch to that other brush. Right now I feel I'm in a very, very comfortable place just being God and me. And do I know everything? No, I don't know nothing. But uh, I'm fine with that. You know, I don't, I feel like I don't even need to know everything because I know that God is watching out for me and I just need to keep my heart in a place of uh, receiving and listening and things like this. So that is just a side thought, <laughs> believe it or not. So what I wanted to get into when when I was thinking about well, this brush, this 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 brush is really nice. Um, what I was thinking about uh, receiving the word of God. Um, I was thinking. In what kind of a place do we have to be to receive the Word of God? And in that connection, I had an experience yesterday. <laughs> yesterday when I went to study, and um, this is like my, my makeup academy is located in a, um, in a shopping mall. And um, of course I have to go and park there, and then when I go in, in Israel we always have to go through security checks for obvious reasons, because there's a lot of terrorism going on. And um, so that guy, <laughs> the security guy, uh, he opened, of course, my my uh, makeup bags, and like I have two huge bags of makeup stuff that I'm taking along, and my handbag. And um, wait, I just dipped in the wrong color here. Wait. <laughs> and he was so sweet to me, you know. He lifted those heavy bags up from the floor for me and then after he had checked it and then he said, you know what girl, watch out for your back, you know. <laughs> Don't ruin your back doing this. <laughs> and I thought that was so kind and sweet to be caring. You know, he was not a young guy who was hitting on me. He was an older guy and um, if you don't know, most of the time those security guards are older men who are trying to make a living because their pension is not enough, you know? And um, I am known <laughs> for being very nice to these older men because I am just such a... I don't know, I feel for them. I feel for them that they have to sit there for hours and hours and check people and basically people just run by them and, and ignore them and are being annoyed by them and um, I always say good morning or have a good day or thank you so much or, or things like this or when I leave the, the shopping mall and go back to my car and pass by that person again, I say have a very good day and uh, or have a good night depending on when I'm leaving and I think this is so important to 
to spread kindness, you know, because I see the, the look in their faces that they are startled by kindness. And then I think, how can that be that people are startled when, when, when people are kind to them, you know? And it makes me so sad and it gives me, like it's, it's an outpouring of compassion for me that I want to be that person who is the light for that security guard on that day. So in our local shopping mall, uh, no, in our lo local supermarket, I'm sorry, because also in the supermarkets we have security guards. Um, our security guard there, he knows me already, and when I come in in the morning and I say, good morning, how are you, you know, or have a happy holiday or whatever, um, depending on the season, he says to me, wow, um, this is so nice to see you first thing in the morning because you bring a smile and like sunshine into my day, you know, and this has nothing to do with not being proper and apparently I'm not putting on makeup. <laughs> oh, I just, you know, I just need to talk to you. Um, I think it's such a nice thing that a person thinks that, you know, that, that a person gets a smile on his face or her face, you know, depending on where you're spreading your kindness. But um, I think this is lovely and this is how it should be. We should be holding each other in the sense of watching out for each other's souls and to not abandon someone on the way. And in a lot of ways, those old people um, who have to sit there and work uh, because they're poor, they are abandoned in a lot of ways. They have to fend for themselves and I feel for them, you know? So with all that being said, I was thinking, what kind of person, going back to that security guard who said, watch out for your back, right? So what kind of person um, spreads that kindness? Okay, so I gave him kindness, he gave me kindness back, which is super, super nice. So, but in order to receive God's word, now going back to that month of Shavuot, um, you of course get God's kindness, right? He is giving us his kindness and his love and his caring and his everything, his essence with his word. That's all we need, right? So besides maybe some makeup, but <laughs> so anyway, um, I think what, what the secret is, and I'm, you know, I'm just, that's just my, my opinion. The secret behind all of this is that we have to be half empty. We have to be half empty to in order to receive something new. So in order to be half empty, we have to give. Because then there can be a flow of the of new things coming in and um, other things leaving. And I'm not going to say old things leaving because sometimes it is something very fresh that we have to pass on and and um, you know give to others. So um, whatever that is in our case, for me it is being nice to those people that are being overlooked. I love to do this, and I even sometimes stop and ask. How are the grandchildren? You know, because sometimes I know that they have grandchildren because they have mentioned it to me. And they smile and they're so happy. And I just spend two minutes of my life and then I move on and do my shopping. But I made that person happy probably for a couple of hours. And that is so nice. So this is in a lot of ways, I think, what we have to be in, that, like the, the, the mind frame we have to be in for receiving God's word. Word. We have to be in receiving spirit, but also in giving spirit, because that the word can only live in us when uh, it can flow through us, right? If it is stuck in us, then it's like old murky water that starts to stink. But if it flows, it's going to be fresh and it's going to be life-giving. So does that make any sense to anyone? <laughs> and I have not done anything here. So you know what? Um, I'm going to go off camera just a tiny little bit, move on a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and share some more. Okay, so I have blended, I think, as much as I want this to be because I, I really don't need uh, like a super, super fancy look today. Um, these brushes are very, very good. I love this big one here. This is really, really, really nice. It's fluffy and it really blends nicely. So 
this is nice. I wonder how it is uh, when I'm washing it and how it performs after that because sometimes once you've washed them once, mm, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. And now I want to take this light, light pink shimmer, baby, baby girl pink, and I'm just going to apply that with my, with my fingers. And well, this is gonna be such a simple look. I just can't even believe it. My kids will not know what's hitting them. <laughs> anyway, so these are my thoughts for the for the month of Sivan. That I really want to be more and more in that place. You know, not everybody has the same the same um, passion for everything, right? So if you have something else that that you feel is your your how do you say that? Your place of work, you know? And I'm obviously not talking about your work as in your real work, but um, where your place of kindness is, or where your place of spreading love is, or making this world a better place. This sounds so cliche, but I mean it. Like, um, why well, I, I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> this is madness. Anyway. Maybe it's healing. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Anyway, um, so everybody has a different kind of thing. I'm not saying that everybody now should be extra nice to security guards, even though I think they deserve it, because potentially they are supposed to throw themselves between me and a terrorist. So I think we should all be very nice to them. But um, but maybe your your thing is being nice to the lady in the supermarket who is uh, refilling the the uh, shelves, you know? Maybe maybe that's the person that God has put in your way to be kind to because that person had a very bad fight in the morning and left the house being a miserable little thing and um, is hating her life and you being kind to her is going to turn the life around for her. So. I think um, this is what we should take into this new month to be in that spirit of kindness and half empty in a good way you know so things can flow and new things will come in because in a couple of days we will receive <laughs> the word of God in, on the on the festival of Shavuot and uh, we have to be in a place of being half empty in order to receive something new there is there is something so good in the giving and receiving and I know this sounds so cliche but I mean it there is something so healthy and so godly in this that I really do think in this month we should do our best effort to be in that place of uh, giving and receiving so now I'm going to finish my makeup off camera and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts with the finished look Okay, my loves, this is how the look turned out and I think it is quite lovely. It is so, so not what I'm used to. So it is actually really, like I said in the, in the beginning of the video, this is healing for me, you know, and it is sort of decluttering my, my brain from all the crazy looks that I did with all the crazy colors that I did. So that's good. It's good. It makes me feel like I breathe. It's good. Okay, so let me know what you think about the look. What I did off camera was um, that I, of course, I deepened up the, the outer V uh, with that same cold taupe shade. And then, let me just bring the palette back here with this shade obviously and this one I had put on my lid and then under the lower lash line I actually used this one which is a very cold kind of a, a pink I would say like it's a mixture between a pink and a purple it's hard for me to describe <laughs> what it is but you see what it is anyway so this is what I blended out the lower lash line with and the lower lash line itself I tight lined with the lasting drama lighter pencil from Maybelline in the shade glimmering pink it's like this and um, this is my lipstick it's from Essence I've used that a million times because as you know I do actually like nudes when it comes to lips and this is from the velvet matte collection shade number two which is called it's called it's called marshmallow <laughs> marshmallow all right um, my contouring I did with uh, Il Maquillage and also my my bronzer 
bronzing and contouring with Il Maquillage. The, I've shown them so many times already. This is what I'm using and it's gonna take me years to finish them because these come in such big pens like this. So I'm just using them up because they were super expensive and why shouldn't I? And uh, for blush I used my Morphe Cool Pro palette and I used this very light shade right here as a blush. Okay, is that all? <laughs> mascara I used uh, what I always do when I'm not wearing falsies I'm using the false lash superstar by L'Oreal for my upper lashes and for my lower lashes because I do like the the applicator here I'm gonna just show you because it's very detailed and it gives like a very fine application I don't know if autofocus are we in focus I have no idea so um, this is the applicator of the uh, volume million excess Volume Milling Lashes Excess <laughs> by L'Oreal. Um, I really, really like that. It does not apply a lot of product, but it does make it like very fine and, and you know, very, very fine and natural. So that's what I went for today. And uh, I hope you like it. I hope you like that whole setting of me not being perfect. That uh, would be good <laughs> because I'm, I think, it makes me feel so comfortable to just be here and not having to be all made up already and whatever so uh, maybe if I don't forget I'm going to include right after I finished I'm going to include a uh, picture of my finished look so you see what this all turned out to be um, and of course you will also see it on the thumbnail of the video anyway so I hope you enjoyed this video and I think what I just want to bless us all with no let's let's zoom out so we see a little bit more of everything like this okay so what i want to bless us all with for this new month is this whole spirit of giving because i know and you're going to see that in a couple of days when i do my, my shavuot special i focused more on the receiving which is also a very very important part and we should be able to receive and we should learn how to receive because that is something that is so important and we are so trained to not receive or to feel guilty about receiving but i'm going to get into that in a couple of days in my shavuot special but for now i just want to um, have my focus on the giving because it all goes together. You cannot separate both of them. If it is supposed to be a healthy alliance, then they have to go together. If you just have giving or just have receiving, you always end up feeling like the fool, right? So um, I think today I'm gonna just just focus a little bit more on the giving and on spreading kindness, spreading love, and just preparing, sort of preparing the ground for uh, God to bring his word to us. So I hope that this was nice for you and that you enjoyed the video, even though I did not actually do a lot of makeup on camera because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I just need to talk. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really struggling right now because I'm super tired all the time. I'm really struggling with um, multitasking these days. <laughs> You know, the talking and the, the makeup application is a bit of a challenge for me right now, but I'm working on it. Anyway, I hope you still enjoyed. If you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, then give it a like. And I'll see you here at my channel, on my channel. I'll see you here next time for my next video. I can't wait. And uh, up until then, go ahead and sparkle, spread kindness. Remember your loved hugs and kisses. Bye.